Hi everyone, my name is Abdul Jalil. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. And if you are ready, let's jump to our After Effects. First, before you start, we create a new composition. We call it Main and leave the preset as you see it 1920 1080 pieces so and frame rate 30 you can leave this at full and 15 seconds okay create another one go here and call it test okay leave everything the same okay in our test composition let's create a test okay let me call it abdul jalil tube okay as you can see i have my test here align it to the center go to align here the center you can use any font you want any font can do this okay let me go back to my verdana bold okay align it to the center here okay now let's go to our main comp drag the test comp into it now the first thing we have to do you apply an effect to it so let's go to the effect effect and preset you can see it here if you don't have it here go to windows effect and preset windows effect and preset it is here okay click on it come down here search for vega sorry vegas not vega vegas okay drag it and put it on your test watch here this is where the magic will be done here now change the blend blend mode here to transparency okay you can see our test here has changed and now go to the segment here take it down to one okay you can see the difference now okay now let's rotate it let's rotate it so you see the magic how it is done okay keyframe the rotation let me zoom in keyframe the rotation at first leave it at zero and come here come down here and take it somewhere like eight seconds go back and take it to 100 okay let's say 100 now let's play it let me show you something let's play it and you see watch here you see okay let's do the rotation again you can see we have keyframe the rotation here this is where we keyframe it keyframe it and you can see the difference look at the difference look at it look at the test the test is changing you can see okay set something like this and go to let's say five seconds or six seconds take it back like this okay so now let's play let me play it you see how what you are seeing okay you can see can you see this can you see it okay this is the first step okay now let's continue now let's change the color 
come here the same place change the color from here let's give it something like this you can see the color has changed the next thing to do is we are going to duplicate our test layer to duplicate just control D on your keyboard or command D on your Mac on window control D on a Mac command D so now we have our duplicate now let's change the color to something else let's give it a green color or let's say an orange or a, a pink let's say pink okay you can see so let's go to our second test you can change the colors also here let's give it this one here you can see the changes okay now check this box random face check it and you can play with this you can play it you can look at it look at it okay then play with it you see the difference okay play with it and set at now let's duplicate these two again Control d on windows command d on mac and let's change this color so we can differentiate between the first and the second okay let me give it a blue okay now move it to the top like this okay now change the width you can see with the width here change the width to 8 this is the first one the second one okay you can see the difference you can make it bigger as you wish you see okay it depends on your taste okay this is the first one the second one okay the first let me duplicate let me add okay you can see the difference now let's add another effect another effect what is it let's apply another effect called optic compensation optic optic compensation apply it on the second one here you can see check this box here reverse lens check it okay now let's add keyframe to this one you can see it field of view let's add keyframe to it okay now let's take it somewhere here somewhere here let's take it to say second and keyframe it the value to 180 which is the highest and take it back you can see the difference look at it you can see when you brought it here you can see okay now take it back now take it back and now it is zero you can see zero now from zero to 180 which is the highest let me play it let's see what we have here you can see we are going forward okay let me play it once again you can see we are going forward okay the good thing of this animation is you can change the test anytime you can change the test go to the test layer and write anything you can change it to let's say mode when you come back to the main layer it will change to mode two so this the main advantage of the using two different com so let's go back let's turn it back okay now 
okay now our next move is let's copy the this one the effect we apply to it let's copy it and paste it on the first layer here okay now we have the same layer the effect on the first and the second you can see how it it is going it is very beautiful you can see it is beautiful so now let's continue okay now let's select all the layers control a control control a we select all the layers and change the mode if you can see the mode here we are looking for the mode the mode is not appear come down here and click on this you can see there's mode change the mode to whatever you want or uh, add you can see look at the difference i just want to change let me change it to another thing another light you can see you can play here you can play here let's go back to linear then you can see so here you can go to normal this is the normal and you can go also go to light you can see there is light so you want to take it to add okay so now in case you want the beginning this test here to disappear and when it started to dissolve it appears let's see you want the first test here not to appear so what do we do look for the test which one is the test you can you can know it by toggle this on and off you can see we have the test so these two frames uh, layers sorry let's add opacity opacity to it select it and press t keyframe the two and take this down to zero so when it is somewhere here you take it back to 100 okay let's try and see you can see starting bam wow you can see how the animation is starting the opacity is down it is going up okay so this is how to do this one too so you can play with it and from playing you know your taste you know what you want okay now let's add the test comp again let's go to project here this is the test comp let's add it to it again it is here again and add another effect to it called linear wipe you can see it here linear wipe let me zoom it you can see linear wipe drag it and drop it on the test you just added okay okay now let's move it a bit like this you can see look at the top here go okay you can see look at it you want to increase the transparency uh, transition comp completion so drag it you will see something you can see it is start it started from the back to the starting okay you can also after that just do like this you can see and move it a bit like this and play with the wipe angle you can see you can see the animation here okay wipe angle sorry this is it okay so now play it and see what is going on here wow oh my god very nice so take back go back again and see wow okay now let animate this transition okay we 
we have set the key keyframe here let's take it to 100 so and take it back here somewhere here and take it down zero okay let's play and see what we have here wow you can see the power of this animation okay let's do it once again okay okay now let's add another effect to it go to the effect panel effect and prefix you can see it here if you can see it here go to windows click on it and look for effect and preset okay now come here and type in slider slider control take it and drag it put it on the first layer now you can see we have it here drag it another time another one and put it there okay now let's add another effect called glow glow take it and drop it on the layer you can see we have it here you can reduce it you can take it behind or on top depends the glow will shine or behind so reduce this one the intensity and add the radius small okay now look at the difference you can see the difference now when it's glowing okay so this is what we are doing here animating in after effect if you are new here please don't forget to like our video and tell us how we are doing and also like it like it and subscribe to our channel you can see the animation is going on now duplicate this glow and change in here add increase the radius glow radius and the intensity okay now let's see what we have you can see this is the glow radio the whiteness and voila the animation is done now we want to shake we want to shake this layer we want to shake it if you remember if you remember our own the first video i showed you or the example the first layer this one it shake it will shake so how to do this you remember the the slider we added to this one so now this is the slider here you can see it what is it what is the slider okay you can see the slider here we have two sliders one and two we added two so this these features are going to help us shake the layer okay now what do we do press p on the layer and hold down alt or option on mac click on the stopwatch here this will come type in wiggle you can see it here check it and from here you can see look at this take it and drop it on the first slider and add comma take the second one take it again and drop it on the second one now we have our shake before it can shake we have to keyframe it and animate it okay now we have to create a null value a null object sorry right click here go to new go to null object okay what do you have here you can copy it oh uh, what do you call it cut it go to the null object 
press P on it hold down uh, option or control uh, option or alt and click this one and paste it here so now what are we going to do now let's pair all or let's make the null object mother of all these layers so how are we going to do that yes highlight all this and take this one link under link and put it on the null object so now on the null object we have this Regal. Okay. Now, in the wiggle, take this one and pair it with the slider one. Add another one to slider two. Okay. You can see there is already an effect or an expression I did in the first place. So let's delete all and go back to our position Alt and right wiggle. Now in the wiggle take this one go to slider one comma go to slider two okay you can see it here now we have to keyframe it how are we going to do it go to the slider keyframe it like this keyframe the two the two slider and in the beginning add 80 and 50 the first one 80 and the second one 50 now go to somewhere here and take them back to zero 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 so now let's play our animation and see if it will shake you can see it is shaking wow we have done it let's go back you can see it is shaking so now we can add a background go to let's let's add it from the project side right click and look for any one here you can add this one Okay, take it down. You can see we have it here. Duplicate all these layers. Duplicate all the layers. Control D. And Control D. Change the color for you to identify the new ones. Take them top like this slide them a bit okay now let's see our animation you can see we have our animation we have completed it so i hope you have learned something new and if you have a question please leave it in the comment section i will try and answer your question for you but this one i hope you have learned a lot thank you you for watching and subscribe to our channel if you haven't bye